What's going on everyone? It's your boy the real ABD and welcome to the channel. Today what I'll be showing you are two easy steps on Adobe Photoshop on how to change colors. It's very simple. It works great if you already have a color to begin with so it doesn't work so well with white, black or silver but if you have any other color sky's the limit. And there are many other ways to do this, but this is one of the simplest ones, and it's as simple as this. All right, enough of that. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, let's pull up the file in Photoshop. And this is a Lamborghini SVG that I shot at a Lamborghini track day. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to select your pen tool, which is the letter P on your keyboard on both Mac and Windows. And you're basically going to outline... Um, the body of the car, but you're gonna try to exclude all the blacks or the trims. So, so the color, where you want the color change, that's what you're gonna try to select, right? So I'm, I've obviously sped this up. This is a little bit time consuming, but if you get it right, then you know what? The color change is gonna be perfect. And, and don't worry about being accurate. Um, a lot of times, especially with this orange, it kind of has a glow to it. So I, I usually don't um, do not do it right to the edge. I kind of go over the edge a bit. And in the case like this, where there's a reflection on that side skirt, I'm probably going to select that as well. All right. So next we're going to right click and make selection, add a slight feather, and then we're going to and then we're gonna duplicate that layer. Now notice how I missed that fin right at the very bottom. I'm just gonna quickly select it. Um, I'm gonna do the same procedure. I'm gonna right click and uh, duplicate it. And then I'm gonna merge the two layers together. So now it's attached to that first layer. The next step would be to uh, take out the headlights, any vents, emblems, any, any sort of things that you don't want so you're just going to select it, right click, so you're going to right click, select, and then you're just going to press delete. Now take your time with this um, and what, if you've missed a little areas where there are reflections, um, I will show you an easy way to fill that in after. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you get the body of the car, you're good, and then any little things we can we can tweak up later. So. After eliminating the headlights and emblems and all the vents, this is what you're left with. So this is this is basically the body that I'll be changing. What you're gonna do next is apply a layer adjustment, uh, hue saturation, and then you're gonna create a clipping mask by clicking that little square, which has an arrow. And then what you can do is you can just go to the hue and change the hue, and you'll notice that. It's basically changing the body color. And that's that's about it, you guys. You can just play around with it. You can turn down the saturation. You can turn down the darkness or the, the lightness or the brightness of the actual color. And uh, it really helps because sometimes you just want like a matte, like a matte army green and you could just turn down the saturation and there you have it. But I'm gonna stick to this Tiffany blue right here. And then next up, I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to fix up these these reflections because that's the color, that's the old color, the orange. You can see it's on the wing. It's beside that vent on that window. Um, so let's get started there. So it's pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to go back to your background layer and you're going to duplicate it. And then what you're going to do is apply another layer adjustment for hue and saturation. And you're basically gonna, for the body, you're just gonna apply the same settings and you're gonna press con Command I, uh, which is for Mac, uh, to invert. So yeah, so, so what you're doing right now is you're basically, uh, once you've inverted it, and how a layer mask works is uh, the, it, it black and white. So basically everything white, it will be showing, everything black is not showing. Does that make sense? I, I'll make another video on this just to just to explain layer masks properly. But what you're going to do is you're just going to select the paintbrush tool and you can uh, change different opacities depending on the look that you're going for. But I'm just going to stick to 100 and you're going to pick the color white 
and you're just gonna brush in all the little details that you've missed and that's about it you guys And there are many other ways to do this, guys. This is just one of the simpler ways. There, with, with Adobe, with the amount of tools in there, sky's the limit. But thank you very much for joining me. Do like, subscribe, give me your feedback. If there are any tutorials you want to see me do, just comment or send me a DM on Instagram. That's my Insta right there. Peace.